A popular event in West Charlotte is highlighting black-owned food trucks, and this year the best truck will win six grand. All right, so aside from the prize money, Black Food Truck Fridays have been bringing in thousands of dollars to keep some people from going out of business. In Queen City News reporter Will Lewis tonight spoke with two people who credit the event for saving their business. Vendors here credit Black Food Truck Fridays with keeping them open during the pandemic. Some say they opened during the pandemic and they would have closed their business for good and watched their dream turn into a nightmare if not for the event. Close to a dozen food vendors with all different flavors and each with a similar story to tell about the pandemic. I closed down for about 11 months. It was really bad and you know me with four kids and my wife, it was just a struggle for us until I started this. Both Jerika Downey, owner of Grits CLT, and Joseph Brewster, owner of Island Boys Handcrafted Sandwiches, opened their food trucks during the pandemic. Downey operated out of a tent at first when joining the Black Business Owners of Charlotte event in 2019. BBOC is a nonprofit holding Black Food Truck Fridays to help businesses stay open and not only put food on other people's tables, but their own. We actually tried to do as many events as we could, um, we still hosted 21 events last year during the height of COVID. This year, the event kicks off with a contest crowning QC's best black food truck. The Duke's Mayo Classic is sponsoring four Fridays where chefs compete and customers vote for their favorite. The final battle is the Friday before the Duke's Mayo Bowl in September. The winner gets $6,000, second place $2,000, and third place gets $500. I express myself within my meals, and you know, I think that's what helped me propel myself to where I'm at today. Downey says the event helped her so much, she's no longer a tent vendor. She bought a brand new truck and trailer to serve up grits and other items. And it took me about six months to a year, and then I reopened May 15th of last year with Grits Food Truck. Food always circles. You always got to come back to it, no matter. You got to eat, right? You got to eat. <laughs> now, the crowd wasn't as large as usual due to the weather, but the organizers say vendors usually make between five to $10,000 a Friday. Now, if you want more information on the next three battles, we placed a link on QCNews.com. Will Lewis, Queen City News.